Roll up your sleeves, warm up your glue guns, and sharpen your scissors. It's time for a crafting showdown like you've never seen before. Our three contestants put their wits, skills, and crafting creativity against each other as the clock runs down. Allison comes from a long line of artists and loves to make jewelry from unexpected materials. Nebedita is a lifelong gardener and jewelry maker who makes food look as good as her art. Misty lives for flowers and loves giving her fabulous baskets on every occasion. So here's how it works. Our three contestants race against the clock to create a masterpiece using only supplies found here in our studio, what they've been able to grab on their shopping spree, and their mystery items. Once the clock runs down, time's up, and we'll see whose project measures up. I think she's bitten off a little more than she can chew. Falls flat, and who becomes the craft master? The boxes in front of you contain the theme for your project and the items that you must incorporate in some way. Once you open your boxes, it's time to get shopping. Are you ready? Yes! Open them up! Today's gift box items include a DCWV card kit and a stack, tissue paper, and the theme is Mother's Day gift. I was really excited because I love Mother's Day. When I saw these two items, I thought, oh my god, what should I do? Now, it's time to get shopping. On the shopping spree, I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I had no idea what I was doing. This one, maybe. See some gorgeous flowers over here. Time's up. Bring your cards to the register. I was almost certain I was going to go over, but I still got a lot of good stuff. Well, I only had to leave behind one thing, and it was the cello, and I'm glad I did. I hope you have a solid plan and everything you need, because you have one hour to complete your projects. The judges are watching, and the clock starts now. I am making a ribbon topiary as my main feature, and I'm making a little place setting because every mom needs to have her own special spot. It instantly came to me that I wanted to do jewelry inside of a shadow box. I'm not sure about what her plan is with that frame, but I guess we'll see, huh? I don't think so. Uh, when I decided that I would do the reads, I never changed my mind, and I just keep working to that direction. I bought the wrong size ball. I bought a ball that was too big for my container, so I'm gonna have to uh, cut it down. So I was stuck with this huge ball, and I'm cutting with a pair of scissors, and I'm used to having a serrated knife. Oh, the sound of that cutting of that styrofoam. It's like <laughs> fingernails on a chalkboard. <laughs> <It's laughs> Apple. Let me introduce our judges to you today. We have Michael's very own diva of glitter, Joe Pearson, and our guest judges are Amy Sorensen, DIY queen, and Erin Madsen, lifelong paper crafter. Well, ladies, it looks like you're hard at work, and I don't want to slow you down too much, but I have a surprise for you. Today's wild card item are Creatology Wiggle Eyes. You must incorporate these into your final project in some way. Good luck! The whole googly eye thing was a little off. I wasn't real sure how I was going to work that. I have two parts, so they have eyes, so I didn't have any problem about using it. The biggest downfall with the shadow box is I thought it was real wood and it was plastic, and so I couldn't sand it and do a finish, though I thought I would try to decoupage. <laughs> I started out at 12 years old working in the flower shop. I have pretty much done flowers my whole life and just different crafts along the way. I like to just do whatever comes up. Doing arts and crafts, the inspiration came from my children. When my daughter growing up, I you know, learned how to do the hair bows. And then she grew older and then I started making jewelry. We have art and crafts in our blood. Crafters, you have 15 minutes to finish your projects. 
about the 15 minute mark when I looked at the shadow box and it was very far from being done and I did grab paints, but I thought I just might make a huge mess and make it a lot worse. It seems like I'm always pushing the clock. I come from a long line of artists and I have completely shamed them. Time's up and tools down. It's time to tell the judges all about your projects. I made this dish for this Mother's Day. Use the tissue paper to make the grass and use the card to do the decorations and use the wiggly eyes for the birds. For Mother's Day, I made this ribbon topiary and used the tissue paper in the bottom. I used the wiggle eyes for the mother's placemat and I used the card kit in a stack to embellish the plate. Judges, I have to say this is definitely not my best work. I had a lot of fun and I'll tell you how I did this anyways. The outside, I used tissue paper with the Mod Podge to decoupage the outside. I used the card kit for the background on the inside of the shadow box and then I used the googly eyes for the center of the flowers and painted them orange. Thank you, it's now time for the judges to deliberate. What do you think about Allison's project? I really like how she used her wiggle eyes. She painted them and made them look like rustic brads. Mm -hmm. I loved that. You can't tell the wiggle eyes. <laughs> that was exactly what I wanted to see with those, with somebody using them as something other than being a wiggle eye. Well, you know, unfortunately, though, at the end of the day, you know, she didn't get finished, and I think some of her technique was lacking. So, Joe, what about Nebedita's project? You know, we obviously all knew that it was going to be a wreath, and she tore right into that tissue paper and started covering it. I like that she used the tissue paper three-dimensionally. It wasn't just the flat piece that she used. And I think she used the three products the best. She used the tissue paper, the card kit, and the wiggle eyes. They were all prominent in her project. So what do we think about Misty's project? I like that it was a complete set for breakfast. I like that she had the topiary in the center and that she had the placemat. And my favorite part was the plate that had the smiley face. <laughs> well, the wiggle eyes were what just kind of kind of threw me off a little bit. I'm not sure that I wanted to just have all of them eyeballing me. But that was a great innovative way to use those wiggle eyes, you have to admit. Judges, have you made your decision? I believe we have. No. Yeah. Well, it was hard, but the judges have come to a decision. Ladies, you know you all did a great job. We're very proud of you. But you know what? In the end, there can only be one craft master. And today, that's Misty. I was so excited. It's so awesome. Congratulations. It was a blast. It was totally out there and um, just so much fun. Misty, you are the craft master. Thank you. <laughs>